Hello, and welcome back to Paul Prospero's Paranormal Probe, where we find the truth before the truth finds us. Probers, it is excellent to be back in this chair. You can tell that I'm off to a party because my hair is wild. Wild child, wild stuff. You'll notice I didn't even part it in the middle. Probers, welcome to a brand new episode of Paul Prospero's Paranormal Probe, where we f no, no, hang on, Paul, Paul, Paul you, don't, you don't need to do that again, it's fine, don't worry about it. Probers, today I'm just going to adjust my screen to make sure everything is set for the most exciting night of my life. Now, as you all know, as a paranormal investigator, I have done many different things over the course of my life. I've investigated yetis, I've investigated... Uh, you know, creepy haunted houses a few times. Uh, I helped someone reunite with their family, which was like an early nice and touching kind of thing, but it felt like a spooky house. Um, I investigated uh, murders. Um, I investigated other spooky stuff. I feel like I'm missing something really important, but that's okay, don't worry about it. Today, Probers, you're coming along for what I hope will be a very special episode of Paul Prospero's Paranormal Probe, because I am going to meet my old college buddies. We were known as the... F the... the... <laughs> we, well, we had several nicknames back in the day, of course. We used to call ourselves DJ Ra D DJ DJ Radio Club. That's what we used to call ourselves. Uh, and we used to have a really good time. We had a radio station. I was sort of the, like contributing investigative reporter would be like, you know, juice in the cafeteria. Is it made of real fruit? Story at 11. You know, that sort of thing. That, that was me. Um, oh, yeah. The radio thing. Oh, I have to sneeze. Hey. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> Paul Prospero's sneeze a boy probe. <laughs> oh, Oh, uh, est, uh, uh, a tun, a tun, tun, tunery. What's the word I'm looking for? Oh, it's gonna happen again, though. There we go. Uh, and so, oh, probers. It is a combination of dust from this old home that we'll be exploring today, and this sweater, which I took out of storage. Um, well, I stored it with the moths, because, you know, they, much like me over the winter, they need a little snack, too. Um,. I put on my, I've uh, dressed t in my finest because I'm reuniting with the old friends from college, DJ Radio Club, uh, which I am, I, I don't, don't need to restart that music again. Just leave that there. That'll be fine. Oh, one more time, Probers. Oh, oh geez, Louise. <laughs> oh, you know what definitely helps with sneezing? Water. And so, uh oh, oh, probers. <laughs> it's funny. This always happens when I start to stream, and I know exactly why. It's because I have Munchie here, and Munchie, as you can tell, is covered in fluff. Oh, because he's been in storage too. No need to have an emotion emotional support companion when you're just out and about. Anyway, obviously. I'm always prepared in case of paranormal investigations and paranormal activities. We're off to a remote cabin in the woods where we will be, well, it's more of a home, but, you know, we'll be able to, like, view the Perseid meteor shower, and we're going to connect, reconnect, re-up re our relationships, as it were. And, um, yeah, it's all very exciting stuff. But I don't think anything paranormal is going to happen. But if it does, I am prepared, as I always am. you got to make sure you have liquids to drink. I like to make sure that I, of course, have a flashlight in case the lights go out. Oh, I have this, which is antiseptic foam. Excellent for spraying on uh, immaterial, uh, or rather, uh, go invisible ghosts so that you can then see their outline. I have this lubricant. Excellent for spraying on yourself and then sliding along the floor if you need to make a quick getaway. And, of course, I have Munchie. Oh, Woo. OSAB. Yes. Now... The doctor surgeon has his own special version of that, which I will not discuss here uh, in polite company. But suffice it to say, when he asks you to turn around, he does not ask you to cough. He asks you to, well, I mean, I guess I can just tell you. He asks you to swear profusely, um, which I guess is his way of sort of making sure that you are doing so anyway, even if 
even if you like you're gonna do it anyway so you may as well at any rate propers i geez sorry i think it's time we just hop to it because i'm not really sure what to expect we're off to see our friends our old friends uh and of course i should as always put the warning out there because paul prospero's paranormal probe sometimes spooky stuff happens wow this looks great look at this there's a wire <clears throat> there's um a doorway of light i'm sure that's where they're they've got all the drinks uh sure i'm not overly concerned probers i'm gonna turn up the volume and of course as always let me know if it's too loud too quiet too whatever oh i hope i didn't I really hope I didn't uh, skip anything by. Ooh. Oh. Oh! Hi, uh, Requiem. What's up? Oh. Uh, sorry, Requiem, real quick. I think I'm just having a quick nightmare. Oh. No, we look good. Double click to run. Okay. Uh, just uh, in a creepy tunnel here, Requiem. Whoa! Whoa! It's light bulb head. Oh, this is Emily, my old friend. Twenty-six unread messages. Emily, gee, she was always terrible at getting back to people. I didn't realize it was because she was always like having these weird visions of the future. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, requiem. Yes, I loved the Ouija board rug. Uh, oh, uh, hey, Emily, you're not giving up already, are you? No, I guess not. I, I mean, no. I'm on my way. Emily was always a bit of a fraidy cat, which is great because, because you know, she and I would get along famously. Oh, that's nice. I, I'm i at the side of the road. See, that's nice. She's, you know, just chilling out there. Requiem, I haven't tried putting Roomba over the Ouija board uh, rug because I figured it might summon a demon. But at the same time... Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal Private Investigation, you know, they would encourage that sort of thing, right? So maybe I should. Both! I did both! Oh. Wow. 26 unread messages, and you know it's going to be bad news. Emily, I sent 25 of those messages, and they were all just like, Hey, Em, can't wait for you to get here. Hey, Em. Got those, uh, you know, got those uh, breezers. Hey, Em, I cracked open a couple of those breezers already. Hey, Em, I'm, I'm already kind of wasted. Oh, sorry, yeah, okay. Oh, dear. She can't handle it. She's thinking about turning around. No way. Laura's not that kind of gal. She'll, yeah. No, Emily, you don't get... Oh, I mean... Emily, you should do whatever you want. Consent is important. But I think you should come to the party because I think you want to come to the party. You're going to a cool old house to hang out with your friends and watch a meteor shower. That's right. DJ Radio Club. On three, one, two, three. DJ Radio Club. Yeah, exactly. First things first. Hands on wheel. Key in ignition. Start driving. Nice. All right, Emily. Let's go. Vroom. Oh. Do you think she should, like, do you think she should, like, check the messages, though, or... I probably would. I'd probably check them before I arrive. Just in case they're like, oh, don't come, the power's out, or, like... Something like that. See? No problemo. Everything's fine. Feels like you haven't left the apartment in weeks. Laura's a good friend. She's always been a good friend. She's, like, encouraging, but not, like... You know, not too overbearing. Oh. They're sending me instructions on how to get into this weird old house. There's a keypad on the gate, and Gary sent me the code. Ugh. You're... Oh, Emily's always been really anxious, you know? Like me! Definitely. <laughs> the cops are going to find me a week from now. A skeletal husk behind the wheel of my car. <laughs> it's going to be okay, right? Everyone misses you, and it's going to be fine. That's what makes this so hard. I'm already like four hours late. Late is just a state of mind, Emily. 
the party don't start till M walk in. You know, it's that song, right? It's that Kesha song. Yeah, exactly. Yep, exactly. Power's out. Demonic portal to hell in the kitchen, and we are out of ice cream. So bring the ice cream, don't and and skip the, skip the. De demonic portal from hell to hell. Sorry, not from. If it was from hell, that would be fine. You just summon a bunch of demons. To hell is a problem. If you fall in, no going back. Things are already weird enough, you know. I haven't spoken to any of them in almost a year. I mean, I haven't spoken to Emily in like five years, but you know, potato, potato. That's fine. Break, break. You really think they won't forgive you? I think it doesn't matter what I think. I think I'm panicking. Okay, Emily, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. You know, mental health is health, right? But just like, look at this house. It looks great. It's gonna be fine. Now, I don't know what the code is. So I can't help Emily get in, but I guess we'll try. Ooh. <gasps> Call back if you see this. We're going to the Kroger down the road. The gate combination is the third number down on the post-it. See you soon. The third number down on the post-it. Oh, oh, well, there will be a post-it. Bad Emily. Bad Emily. I agree, Requiem. Maybe it's a different time, you know? Okay, well, that's that's a that's a combination for something else. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> So this I already looked at. This is great. Okay. Let's have a look. Ah, 8129. 8129. Great. See? Now we can get in. No problem. He even left it for you there. Although I will say, if, if there's only four numbers on that list, then you could just try them all and get in eventually. Which is a little terrifying, but that's okay. All right. I, oh, hey. Is that, do you think that's me up there? No, hang on. I'm not standing in the window creepily. Who is that, though? Hello? Oh, hey. Oh, this is Cool Phil. I mean, we all call him Cool Phil, but obviously his name is Cliff. We all call him Cool Phil, though. Cliff. He thinks he's so <laughs> He lit the cigarette and threw it away. Hey, Cliff, that's kind of a dick move. Gary! Gary, despite his name, has always been a real superstar. He's like a real good friend. He's always welcoming. Um, oh, two chance. That's a good one, Requiem. But you could still get lucky. Because I wouldn't try the first number on the list, right? Francine's here, too! Francine always looked like she's about 45, even in college. She was always looking about that age, you know? And Megan! I remember all of these people. I wonder if you'll get to meet me, or if I'm hiding. <laughs> Felt more like six from here. We were getting worried about you. Hi, reading aloud. Welcome to Paul Prospero's Paranormal Probe and Saren Zero, where we find the truth before the truth finds us. I'll catch you up real quick, because we've just started. Uh, oh, excellent reading. Yeah, I'll, uh, toss me a couple of them sprouts. I hope they're the Brussels variety. Um, as opposed to the, you know, um, plant sprout variety. Like, just little sprouts. Not very, like, alfalfa sprouts or something. And Cthulhu's here, too! Oh, everyone's joining! Welcome to Paul Prospero's Paranormal Probe, where we find the truth before the truth finds us. This is homebody, okay? Emily, who is in the foreground here, you can kind of see her, uh, she is coming to visit me and all of our college friends. This is DJ Radio Club! That's what we used to call ourselves back in college. I was like the investigative reporter. Nothing but BS. I mean Brussels. <laughs> um, we are... We're getting together at this uh, spooky old house, because that's fun. And we're going to watch the Perseid Meteor Shower. Meteor. Meteor. Meteor Shower. German sprouts. We have ways of making you sprout. <laughs> All right. Oh, um, my my mom, you know, I, I stopped at my mom's place. I, this is classic Emily. So what you've missed, Emily is like really anxious about seeing these people again. She hasn't spoken to them in, ye in a year, and she's kind of freaking out. I think she's kind of anxious, and she's got some mental health problems, okay? That's what's going on. She kept finding excuses to keep me there. Exactly, Gary. Yep. 
All of them. We were worried you wouldn't be able to get inside, but I did. Did, did Pete have any trouble getting here? Pete is still not me. Even though I also had a big crush on Emily, but like, whatever. Pete's like, super cool. Oh, Pete isn't here yet. Oh, great. He's about 33 hours late. He was supposed to be here last night. Well, that's not good. Ooh, the owner of the house didn't want to let us in until everyone named on the rental was here. Woof. Well, that's bad. So how did, did you guys like, did you guys like off the rental person or? Oh, it took some convincing. Okay. And who is him anyway? Is that why Mr. Nest gave us an hour of instructions? Mr. Ness. Yeah, it's cute, eh, Requiem? Okay. Mr. Nest. Oh, uh, no, don't worry, Gary. We all like Gary. Gary is sort of like the Gary Busey of the group, you know? Kind of wild and wacky, but we all like him. Anyway, come on in. Thanks, Megan. Uh, maybe we'll get to meet Paul Prospero pretty soon. How long has it been since I last seen you? Like a year? Yeah, don't keep us waiting any longer. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, cool. Let's go, everyone. Nest, Mr. Nest, apparently. Everybody's really happy to have you here. Thanks, Francine. You've always been a cool mom. Uh, friend, not really a mom. Sorry to hit the microphone like that. Again, I don't really know what to make of this. There was like a creepy person in the window, but that was probably just Mr. Nest. Oh, thanks, Francine. That's nice. Business. Business. Uh-oh. Yay! The door! Oh, wow. I love those automated closing doors. That's so cool. Like, they have them at grocery stores, but why don't they have them in homes? You know, what's the big deal? All right. Oh, yeah, good shout. Uh, well, I guess we'll just check some stuff here. Oh, this is the... I'll show you guys. I was sent this photograph. Or, I was sent this photograph. This is clearly my uh, suitcase, so I'm going to go to 420. And we'll uh, have a little look. This is what I packed. This is two pairs of pants and no underwear. Oh, Emily. Emily is ready to party, so to speak. Oh, it's so embarrassing. Oh, jeez. Uh, can we close it or... Nope, guess we're leaving it. Uh, let's... Oh. What's... Okay, so this is how you unlock the door, presumably. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Just good to sort of look around. Guess we'll go this way first. You can interact. You can use the interact reveal button to show interactive objects. Oh, cool. So we can flip the switch. We can go look at the clock. Longo. Just flip your current inside out. Current inside out. Take your time. Flip it and flip it around. Longo clocks. Ooh, another keypad. What's this for? I wonder. Hmm. I don't know. Oh. Excuse me. Two heavy gauge cables, one orange and one blue, lead from the ceiling and down onto the floor. We should go and find out what that is. Oh, oh God, excuse me. Achoo. Excuse me, everyone. Cliff. Ugh. I do this every time. Ugh. It's because Munchie's covered in fluff. Oh. Oh God. Ah. Oh. oh, I'm just allergic to to to. Sorry, Spluey. Sorry, Spluey. It's I, I'm allergic to old college get-togethers. Sneeze, Prospero. <laughs> Welcome back to Paul Prospero's Achunatory Probe, where we find the before it finds two. <laughs> Welcome back to Paul Prospero's Paranormal Probe. Spluey, if you haven't been here, I'll catch up real quick. Emily is coming up to the house uh, to meet the rest of the gang. It's our old club from college, DJ Radio Club! Yeah, we're going to be watching the Percy and Meteor Shower from here. Um, and it's like a spooky old house, but like, no big, no big. She's really anxious and nervous and like potentially sort of has some like mental trauma going on here. I'll just post this as always. Um, but I don't really know what to make of that, so I think we're just going to leave it. 
Cliff. Hey, who are you again? <laughs> oh, Cliff, you kidder. <laughs> I hate you. The binder is full of pages and pages of notes on how to care for the house and its contents. It's open to a page about the cellar and the attic being off limits. Weirdly personal. Okay, the cellar and the attic are off limits. That's fine. Cool. Um, I see all sorts of like post-it notes and things. Oh, uh, right. I should be using the interaction key. Ah! Oh. Megan! Are you playing Duck Hunt? Oh no, what the hell is this? What game is this? I don't want to make you uncomfortable, but I am so glad you're here. Thanks, Megan. It's good to see you too. Francine was actually like pretty worried that you weren't gonna, yeah, she's said you've been busy with work. Well, the life of a stylist never stops. Uh-oh, I bet Emily and Francine don't hang out. I have so many stories about them at college, guys. They were always shot getting beers in the booth. When we were recording, they would always be pranking each other. You know, they'd be like, coming up next, we've got a really interesting track, you know? And then they'd be like, oh, 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 yeah. Radio DJ style. I'm sure it's fine, Splooey, yeah. Oh. Uh-oh. Spe speaking of which, sorry I'm so late. I, you know, haven't been in town. My mom's kind of needy, you know. Oh, thanks, Megan. Anyway, we're still waiting on Pete. Um, how have you been, M Megan? I think we should just get to know everybody to know who our allies are, right? You always need to make sure that you can run at least as fast as your friend so that by expelling a bit of urine, you can run a little bit faster than your friend, and then they get got by the spooky monster. If if, if that if it comes to, if push comes to shove, you know. The list of updates is short. Okay, working, gaming, having out of body experiences. Hell yeah! Megan was always really cool. Oh, she was always on acid, introducing the psychedelic tracks. She'd be like, "Yo, this one tastes like purple," and she'd put it on. Oh, so cool. Oh, wait, out-of-body experiences. <laughs> it, well, exactly, Exploy, exactly. Well, maybe they're not out-of-body experiences exactly. Sleep paralysis? Oh, boy, hang on, that is bad news. <laughs> Isn't that the thing where you're held in an icy grip, motionless as a being beyond your understanding stares at you through your doorway? Um, kind of? No, that ain't it. <laughs> How's your dad? Uh, if we stick to talking about food and movies, then it's okay. Hmm. You ever tried playing video games? He thinks they're dumb and too much work. Not wrong. Uh, Cliff was kind of shitty before. Like, I don't know what's his... Yeah. Right. Exactly. Uh, ooh, what's Cliff's, what, what's, what's Cliff's deal for the last 10 years? I mean, I haven't heard from Cliff in like a long time, you know, neither have I, Paul Prospero. No braver. It's a real no braver. <sighs> hmm. What do you think's going on with him anyway? Uh... Oh, did you guys already watch the meteor shower? Because, like, I wanted to do that. We went last night, yeah. It was a bummer to not have everyone there. Oh, sweet. Did you, like, actually see a comet, though? Nope. Oh. Oh, dear. Burn the stars into my retinas. Oh. Yeah, no, no, of course, Megan. It's, like, it's just, like, a way to hang out and stuff, right? I get that. I'm gonna say hi to the other people. Have you heard the house rules yet? I mean, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you have to, uh, attic, attic and, um, attic and, and cellar, we have to stay out of there, right? There's a bed made up for you in the little bedroom by the study. Oh, that's nice, Megan, cool. Uh, so I could play a game, I can, 
probably just the door. And talk to Megan. Okay. Some nice creepy photos and stuff over here, which is a little weird, but that's okay. Oh, hide! I can hide in a closet! <laughs> That'll be real fun. I'm sure there's no reason to do that. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. No, no. Turn it off. Turn... Oh, God. Uh... What's cooking? Okay. First degree burns. Second degree burns. Third degree burns. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. How do I stop it? How do I stop the tea? Guys, help! Oh, oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, boy. Uh... Cliff, it's your, it's your problem now, Cliff! Run! Run! Cliff, do the thing! No, shit. Go! Cliff! Hi, Gary! Uh... What is this, KCF? What are you on about? Oh, the 70s. Ah, phew! Okay, thanks, Cliff! My stay in this haven for hooligans has been a joy, despite the best efforts from the inexplicable clangs upstairs. Hmm. I move out tomorrow. Might as well leave an autograph behind. Maybe I'm just being sentimental. It's hard not to be in a place like this. Best wishes to all park, to all. Parks, you never did show me what you were working on in the attic. It was an honor to have been here, to breathe this dusty, rarefied air. Oh, well, that's nice. All these people love the place so much. Welcome to my home. I hope it feels like your own for the duration of your stay. Kindly peruse the binder in the kitchen and uh, leave a review. This is the coolest Airbnb I've ever rented. I love you forever, Mark. Happy anniversary. Oh, hi, Mark. Quirky vibe. <laughs> Quirky vibe. Loved it. Thank you. Do you know why this feels like a yearbook? But this place is cool. Hags! Gary. Thank you for having video games. Megan. <laughs> uh, Gary always wanted to change the name of DJ Radio Club. He always wanted to change it to Hags. That would be the Hall Attendance Group Study. Which is, like, it's a, it's a, it was a backronym. Like, he wanted to call us the Hags. But we were like, you can't just make up an acronym to go with that. And he's like, I do what I want. Oh, is this the end of the hallway? Oh, okay. Ooh, what's over here? Just exploring the place, just checking her out. Whoop. Oh, cool. Um, we can flip the switch, right? Turn this on. Click. Oh, what's this? The fluid in this tank is the source for all the pumps in the house. Note, when improperly calibrated, pumps positioned above this tank will drain. Okay, okay. So I can drain anything in the cellar with this. Which seems pretty good. Not overly concerning, anyway. The Chimpton Tipper! <laughs> Weirdly enough, that's also what they used to call me in, in college. Because of what happens after I had two tequilas. I do the old Chimpton Tip which is where I would tip over, obviously. <laughs> Three tequilas and I would start singing the song. You know? Yeah, um, tip me over and pour me out. That was me. Carpenter's Deli at the end of its struggle. Carpenter's Deli as heyday. What are they talking about? Um, Nest disappearing from his daily lunches and the eventuality of Carpenter's downfall. Interesting. Uh, yeah, so Requiem, I think... The idea is that there's, um, like, the the drain, like the um, plumbing in the house. Everything is working well, so it flushes from upstairs. But if you want to manually flush something in the basement, you have to, to do it from here, basically. Check device. What is this, though? Oh, I don't know what this is. I presume that this goes outside. Okay. Oh, well, cool. Good to know. Whoops. Cool. Well, nothing nothing really to see here. Just been walking around. Um, I guess I'll go into the dining room before we Whoa! Hey everyone! Wow. Look at 
all these weird power boxes. They're so, like, big. It looks like it can provide power to one of two cables that leave the box on the left and right side, but the box needs to be powered on first. A yellow cable leads out into the foyer. A teal cable goes up into the ceiling. Okay, and then the, the stripey one is downstairs, so that's clearly something we're going to have to deal with. Ooh, in a glass darkly! J. Sheridan Le Fanu in three volumes. London, R. Bentley and Son, New Burlington Street, 1872. Oh my god, 400 pages? Whoa! Someone wrote all of this! Whoa! Okay. I mean, I'm not gonna read this whole book. Oh, damn it, I might read this whole book. No, not now! Oh! What the hell was that? Oh. Are we okay, Gary? Gary, hey. This is creepy, right? That lightning was intense. I definitely don't think so, Sarah. That was the type of noise that make people cartoonishly hit their heads. They're not even raining out. Weird. Um... Gary, do you know what's up with Cliff? I, like, it's not that important, I guess, but, like, is he mad at me, or... Is he acting like he's mad at you? I mean... Well, I haven't really heard from him in a long time, so... It'd be nice if I... Huh. I don't think he's mentioned you for a while, either. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Trouble with Cliff! Cliff! He's gonna dive off a cliff in terms of his sanity! Just be careful. Uh, I've been worrying he resents me for moving away! I'm sorry, I moved away. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he keeps bringing up how you live in the big city. Too good for us. Oh my god, Gary, what the hell? Why didn't you say anything? Damn it, Gary. Do you think, like, you could talk to him, though? Gary, you son of a gun. Come on. Okay, so you're expecting me to do all the work. Classic Gary. I'll try to bring it up. Okay, cool. That's good. Oh, thanks, Gary. It means a lot. Of course, buddy. No problem, Gary. Uh, oh, Rigardon! Hello! Welcome to Paul Prospero's Paranormal Probe, where we find the truth before the truth finds us. Oh, great! Guys, look, it's a creepy basement. Yay! We're gonna get the power back on, okay? Gary, 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 I agree. All right, well, we're just starting out here. Well, frack, Captain Splooey, the door opened and everything. You know? What is this? <laughs> What the hell was that? What? What was that? <laughs> Fallout 3. Okay. I mean, jeez, Captain Spooley, at this point, I hope they do. Please arrange delivery directly to the house. Chair, kitchen chair should suffice. Okay, well, something creepy's going on here. That's fine. That's gonna be fine. Uh, let's have a quick look here. Ah, perfect. It's the panel. A sticky note on the power box has a drawing of a little sea urchin. Or maybe one of those nautical mines? Oh dear. Oh man, I really hope... Oh jeez. Yeah, of course, John Verrill. It's, it, it's well... Oh shoot. Uh, okay. Oh, this is really bad. Okay. Okay. So I don't know how to turn on the breakers. So I don't know how the electrical system in this house works. I just got here, man. Emily just got here, too, and she's dealing with some stuff. It's a, it's a good question, John. It's, 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 it's a state of mind, really, you know? Whoa, what is this? What? Oh, this is the... This is for draining fluid things? The orange cable from the first floor snakes down and disappears into a hole partway up the wall. Creepy. Okay. Oh my god. What the heck is this? Oh, jeez. Um. Okay. Uh. 
Oh boy. Uh, okay. Hang on. We're this. This is why we always carry a note. X X. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just drawing the pattern, everybody. One, two, three, four, five. That sounds like something's happening behind us, but I'm concerned. Oh, I see some red paint. That's fine, too. Uh, mine note. One panel. I don't know what any of this stuff is. I'm, like, really concerned. Whoa. R Rigor Dawn is right, guys. Reality is, is open to interpretation. Oh, dear. Oh, no! Oh, it's one of those artists' houses! I thought this was an Airbnb! Oh, no! The body is a machine. The body is a house. The same blood, the same thoughts. Recycled, gushing, cellar to attic. Atrium to ventricle. Ugh. Okay. Hydraulic cylinders, oil, human blood. Oh, no, why are you... Oh, why is there human blood? Oh, dear. Oh, blood and bile. I always thought it stood for breakfast and bed, which is obviously, you know, when you get there, you want to eat your breakfast right away because it's like nine o'clock at night and like that's the best time for breakfast. And anyway, okay, well, I'm not a super happy about this, but that's um, that's okay, I guess. Uh, oh, okay. Um, and then there's something in there. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. 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 We're stuck. What's going on here, John? What are you talking about? You're going to need to talk to the doctor surgeon because someone's been bothering you about getting in touch with him. Well, she claims she's... Oh, she... I... If I... If, if it's who you think... Who I think you're referring to, John, she is not patient. That's for sure. She's not even a patient. Oh, boy. This is bad, guys. I thought we could just, like, figure out the the electrical situation and get out of here. Uh oh. Okay. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! What the heck? Oh. Um. Huh. Okay. Well, Requiem, I'm hoping you um don't have like a. Oh. Oh damn. Okay. Cool. Um. Well, Pete's the only one who's not here, other than me, I guess. And you've seen. Ugh, we haven't seen me. Am I the one in the mask? Ugh. Is that a porpoise? Ew. Oh. Polly no likey. Oh. Cool. Okay, well, I guess, um... Paul Prospero's paranormal probe. Coming to a nice early... Hey, oh. Hey, we're alive! Oh, that's great. Okay, so we have a bit of time. Okay, it's 7.04 p.m. You just put the body in homebody. Hey, Riggerton. I like it. Riggerton, have you considered, like, rigging for a living? You know, like, rigging people up to things? Ah, oh, a clown painting. Classic. One of the books is missing from an otherwise full bookshelf. Okay. Missing book upstairs. I'm writing it down. So... The power outage happened at around 9 p.m., and it looks like we seem to have gone back in time, which is very exciting. I'm always a, a fan of that kind of thing. Oh, and it's the whole of Frankenstein. Well, we're not going to read that. <laughs> oh, the Chimpton Tipper. Again, like I said, that's what they used to call me after three tequilas. Because I would go, tip over and pour me. Up. <laughs> it's happening last Tuesday. <laughs> Didn't I call one of my radio programs that? I can't remember. The group of young men and women run a gamut of creative and professional aspirations. Writers, hyper-realist painters, industrial engineer turned performance artist. <sighs> I hate art so much. I hate art. Okay. The latter would be Clara Jones, whose reputation rapidly rose through the, about the past year as a holder of revivalist happenings. Okay, so she clearly was working in this house. The group to which Jones belongs gathered in a disused steel plant beneath a meteor shower. Orchestrated with her creative par uh, partner, Parker Nest. That's the guy who owns this house. 
Hi, Francine. Francine, I think we're gonna die. Francine? What the? Oh. Oh, this is cool. Something came for us. It's still here. I'm fine. Sorry I'm late. You look exhausted. Yeah, I just went back in time, dude. Can you even hear me? Yeah, I just stressed out from family stuff. Whoa. Okay, okay. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Do you have a feeling of deja vu, Francine? I have a feeling we've been here in this room before. No, like in a lit no, like lit literally. Um, no, not re really. It, uh, I, uh, I just think I need to sit down. Dehydrated? Blood sugar low? Yeah, I mean, yes and yes, but like that has nothing to do with anything else. Um. Guess it's just my imagination. Ooh. Cool. Okay. We're gonna look at everything, guys. Come hell or higher waters. Ugh. All right, guys. I'm just gonna read the first sentence and then you'll understand why I don't like writers. Here it comes. Someone in a corner was playing a saw with a bow poorly and the theremin warble of it screeched through the house until the man caught the bow on the ragged teeth. It snapped with a twang, striking him in the face. A woman in a shawl poured vodka onto the lightly bleeding cut on his eyebrow. Ugh, boring. Oh, the accumulator is up in the attic, is it? Interesting. Just gonna check out Dracula here. Oh, that's literally, again, the entire work of Dracula. That's fun. Guess we'll look at the drawers. Oh. Receipts for construction projects. Full of bees. Dead bees encased in tiny plastic trays. This drawer is empty. Oh! Do you think I need to do... No, the pattern doesn't fit. This is a 4x4 four four grid. Small plastic baby figurines. Rocks? Okay. This is obviously for, like, the performance artist person, I guess. Rulers. Rubber bands. I should probably have be writing this down, because now I know... Now I know if I need, like, a thing, like, um... <gasps> Inside drawer 12, there's a rich piece, piece of paper. It's page 110. The text is about something called The Watcher that the writer or protagonist is afraid of. Where is the book this is missing from? Interesting. An empty can of energy drink? I'll take that. Tiny skulls! Yikes. Almost done. Full of pens. Nice and normal. Okay, sounds good. Requiem, I'll try. And this drawer is full of screws. Oh, Gary again. How you doing, Gary? Just exploring the place. Oh, the Bhagavad Gita. Where are we? Whose house is this? Parker, thank you for the vials. I swear these are the last I'll need. Remember to change your bandages because I do not plan on taking you to the ER again. ruh -roh. Oh, Saren, I am such a fan of Hitchhikers and and the Trilogy of Five. It's the eye of the needle, Carrie, and we must both pass through it. I don't know why I took my glasses off. I need them to see. Okay, well, I'll put them up there for now. Oh, there's some kittens in the house, but I think we're okay. It is as convoluted as you feared. So this is um, the woman who's made the art exhibit in the house, which I am not here for. Okay, so here's the thing. I know I can hide from the killer. I know where I can hide. Down in the... In the kitchen, there's a cupboard I can hide in. And, and, oh, perfect. Um, and this is probably going to be... Oh, what the heck happened here? Classy. Okay. So this is probably going to be like... I don't want to hide here. 
The output pressure on this pump should be 12, set to 12 PSI at all times. The output. This is... Whoa, too much. What's happening? Oh my god, what is happening? Ah! I mean, this is very strange. Just, oh my god, what just happened? <laughs> I did it, Rigger did! I made the thing do the thing! I don't understand what just happened, though. Guys, I did it! Static pressure pumps basic operations. Every Illatec brand static pressure pump comes with a consider. Okay. Normal cylinders increase PSI by 1. Heavy duty cylinders increase PSI by 5. Weird that something like fell in here. Really weird. Okay. Obviously, I think the killer is coming soon. So my oop, my hope is that we're going to be able to find somewhere to hide for when they do arrive. Oh. Just uh, go around the door here. It's probably my house. Low Poly Poly! Hi, Zen Robo! Welcome to Paul Prospero's Paranormal Probe, where we find the truth before the truth finds us. I'm putting up the warning as I always do, because I am concerned about what, oops, oops, what might happen here. Oh! This is this room again. Is this my room? No. Oh, jeez. Okay, there's all sorts of devices and things. The teal wire leads up to a box with a little spotlight. The power box in the living room powers this on. Okay. Oh, oh, oh that's the lightning! That's the lightning! This is bad, everyone. Eulogy for the chosen few. Uh, okay. Oh, good, I can hide there. Uh, ooh, there's a power box in here. The computer is on an uninterruptible power supply. I guess that means it's important. How will I know when the killer is coming? Okay, this post-it note just says 12. Hmm. It's a flyer for an electronic lock. <laughs> Clara, someone will be coming by from the electronics company to do the installation. Have them set the passcode as specified on the form. Lock up the schematic combination in the cellar cage when done. Okay, well, I need to get into the cellar cage. Do not let them enter the attic. Parker, why are you so suddenly obsessed with security? Whoa. Spooky. I want to see you leave the house again someday. Hmm. Oh! One, two, three, two. This is for the for the downstairs. Ah! Oh God. Oh, this is minesweeper. Oh, why is it changing every time? Is it? Oh, it literally is just minesweeper. Okay, so I have to actually just play the game properly. So. <laughs> yes. Um, that's the mine. Okay. But I don't know how to... I can't mark the mines because my right click doesn't do anything. <laughs> you know what, everyone? I've been paranormal investigating for longer than you've all been alive! So you can just chill out. <laughs> Shut up, cats. There's cats in the house. Um... 
Uh, okay. Uh, okay. So it's two of those. Uh, okay, this one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody help. Why am I playing Minesweeper? Why am I playing Minesweeper? It doesn't make... <laughs> oh. Okay. So there's two mines up here. Uh, uh, and then there's one there. And I guess I have to guess. This is the... But this is the classic problem with Minesweeper, right? If I don't... Now I have to guess because I can't mark. Okay, so that's one for sure. And then the two is one of those two. So that's a 50-50. And then the one... Or one, two... No, that's not possible. Right, because if this is one... Okay, hang on. I'm, fi I'm figuring this out, team. This has to be a mine. Right here. And one of these has to be a mine. Unless it's these two. Which is possible. See, this is where my swine meeper... See, one, two is possible, is it not? No, because then this has already got one. Okay, cool. Okay, I understand now. There we go. There was a save icon that just popped up, which is interesting. So, oh god! Oh, frack! God! No, god, no, run! <laughs> I told you! Yo, dude, help! Oh, shit. Oh, frack. What the heck, guys? I was trying to finish Minesweeper. Oh, okay. We'll just we'll just wait for a second here. 12 page 110 of something. The bathroom pump, I did it. A oh, hi, buddy. Cliff! Hide! Get in a closet or something. What is that sound? Okay, where's the kitchen, bud? Here it is. Perfect. Oh, man. You can tell how often I've played Minesweeper. I was getting so messed up by that thing. Uh, and I was like, oh, it has to be one of these two. And then I was like, anyway, it was a whole thing. It's obviously been a long time since I've played. So my apologies to all of you Minesweeper pros out there who are obviously like, duh. Ugh. I used to. Problem is, John, and I'll say this. As you all know, I... Uh, of course, I was part of DJ Radio Club back in college where we would, you know, put on, we would, we, well, it was the college radio station and I would do the investigative reporting. Um, you know, juice, is it real fruit? That sort of thing. Uh, but a lot of the games that I enjoyed as a child, obviously I wasn't very good at because I was, well, I, I was a child who didn't understand strategy or, or thinking ahead. So instead, uh, ugh. I mean, that's definitely a killer, right? Coming? Uh oh! Oh, they got Cliff. I have to go find out. You know what I have to do? I have to find out where that sound is coming from. Oh! Alright, well. Too late for me, I guess. Okay, so let's see. We can solve the pump thing right away. Ah, too bad, so sad. Oh, who's this at the gas station? Well, that was weird. Oh, hello? Oh. Do you think it's, do you think it's Pete, the one they're waiting for? Yeah, I'm pretty anxious to, I recognize you. Oh, hi, huh? You're the one with the sense of being better than the things, of being better than the things you're better than. I understand where you come from. I've been there. Cool. What? Who are you? I am there. Oh, okay. 
that's concerning. What, who who are you? Can I help you though? I'm trying to leave. Oh, okay. If you're anything like me, you're probably expecting a reward, but winning only gets you in deeper. Okay. So that's a that's a clear don't play minesweeper. Are you trying to find a keep way to keep your elbows clean? Left arm raise. I'm curious about the state of your right eye. Back off, old man. I'm gonna get going now. I mean, I have to sneeze again. Oh, that's you! Oh, Aragwen, welcome to Paul Prospero's Paranormal Probe, where sometimes we get stabbed by, by killers, but then we get up again. I get stabbed down, but I get up again. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze again. Have a good night. I don't know. So he's in the, maybe in the time loop too? I'm not actually sure. Ugh. So we've uh, been stabbed twice, but we've seemed to be repeating the night again. Aragorn, which is good. Okay, it's seven o'clock. Quick, do you know where your children are? Hello. Hi. So the minesweeper thing, I guess, is potentially... The minesweeper was four by... I think it was a four by four grid, right? So we can, like, figure out... Well, actually, I'll just do this now. The mines are in two... 15, and something else. Let's go solve it, and then we'll figure it out. So, Aragorn, yeah, at not about 9 o'clock, local time, there's going to be uh, uh, a power outage and a killer, which is fine. Oh, that one's locked. Okay. Okie dokie. So, let's go read this flyer again, because I was a little... Oh, hang on. Pamphlet. A safe... Kids' Guide to Logging Online. <laughs> if, you've make, if you see something that makes you feel funny, tell a trusted adult right away! Very bad things can happen to you. Okay. Oh, look into hole! Oh, watch out, guys. I'm going to be scared. Oh. Okay, there's something in there, which is very good. Very good. We're gonna need that later. Oh, this this is right. The I wasn't sure that that had nothing to do with anything, I don't think. Okay. So we'll check out the flyer again. Very Aragwen, a lot of things in this house are ominous. Here's what we've learned so far. Emily I'll I'll just give you the Coles notes, uh Aragwen. Emily here is is here at the house to reconnect with old friends including me because we're all part of the dj radio club at college which was a lot of fun um yeah uh, cliff is mad at her uh everyone else seems like pretty okay with her she, she moved away i guess and now she's suffering from like some mental anxiety and stuff which is rough uh and we've been through the house twice now right oh uh, me too, Aragorn. It's cozy. Although it might be causing me to sneeze. I'm not 100% sure. Um, yeah. So that's Emily. She's anxious. Uh, like, suffering, I mean. And she's in the house. They came up to see the Perseid meteor shower and just, like, hang out. And now there's a killer on the loose as of 9 o'clock. We also know that one of the people who used to live in this house is, like, an artist who made some sort of sculpture with human blood. In the Oh, thanks, Aragorn some sort of thing in the house that, like, runs on human blood, so we're trying to figure this out before we get got. Yeah. Okay. It says, optional electromechanical failsafe feature. Accompanying the flyer is a handwritten note. Clara, someone will be coming by from the electronics company to do the installation. Have them set the passcode as specified on the form. Which I don't know what that is. Lock up the schematic and combination in the cellar cage when done. And then the cellar cage is down in the cellar, of course. So I remember. Do not let them enter the attic. <laughs> yeah, Aragorn, it's kind of creepy in this house. We were told not to go into the cellar or the attic, but we did. Uh, and then this just says 12. 
which is rough because I don't actually know how that helps us. And then this. Oh, oh, it's different every time. Oh, f me. Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, one. Oh, shoot. Oh, damn it. Wait, but if it's different every time, how does this... I thought this this maybe corresponded to the boxes. One. Fine. But if it changes every time, then that's... This... Okay, no, no, no. This can't have anything to do with the... I thought it had to do with the boxes in the other room, but I, I guess it can't. So the only code I found is a 12, which is not particularly useful. There's a blue cable that runs up here. Oh, right, the bathroom. Okay, I have to remember how to do this again. I think I did this. Right, I did this. And the wall falls apart, which is weird. I don't really understand what that's about. But that's okay. Cool, I guess. Weird, for sure. Uh, okay. we still got a bit of time. Unfortunately, the crawl space, the cellar only opens... 10.30. See, that's wrong. The cellar only opens when the power goes. Fill and back strike cable coming into the bottom of the box from the floor. And then a yellow cable goes into the foyer, and then the teal one goes upstairs. Okay, which activates that thing. Right. Okay, there's a keypad. Oh no, right, this is out here. Right. Oh, I could. This isn't gonna do anything. Okay. Or there's a passcode required. And then this, I remember. It is spooky, Erwin, that's for sure. Whoa. The fluid in this tank is the source for all the pumps in the house. Manual drain will be necessary using this button. Well, I'm going to drain... Damn it. What's nine, Captain Splooey? Help! I don't know what you mean, Splooey. Right. And then these both go into the basement... Well, guys, this is bad. This is, like, really bad news. Oh, God, 9 o'clock. Yeah, you're right. Uh-oh. SpaghettiOs. Okay, Aragwen. Here we go. Look into tunnel. There's a tunnel. Metal bars stop me from finding out. That's not good. And what is this locker? It plays a sound? Why, though? Ah, God. Okay. Right, and this is... It is a minesweeper. Shit. But the, the game changes each time. Do you have to solve it? Or is this... So you probably just press the mines, I imagine, to turn the power on. But how would I know? I would have to go and solve the Minesweeper game upstairs, and then not fuck it up once. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. Now, this is pod racing! No, stop. Stop. I didn't mean to do that. I, I didn't... You can drain now. 
Drain, please. Oh god, drain, please. Drain. Oh god. Oh. Uh, I'm not ready to solve this yet. Ah. Well, we're definitely gonna get stabbed, everybody, okay? Not budging. The locking mechanism is controlled by a nearby device. Right. And this is some sort of thing, some sort of maze. And then that's got a three digit code. Okay, and then this is the. Yeah, Captain Splue, I agree. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. The same blood gushing cellar to attic, atrium to ventricle. Oh, hi, cats. What's going on, please? Scared the hell out of me. No, this is just art. Okay, but I'll try, I'll try 1979 because that's a that's a, a very good. Oh God. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh God. It's some horrible Rubik's cube. I don't even know what it's supposed to be. Round the corner. Do you think I can just, like, survive over here if the killer comes down? I think it's probably fine, right? Hello? She'll be coming around the corner when she comes. She'll be coming down the stairs when she comes to stab me. Oh, stop. What? is happening. Well, Splooey, I thought I did, but it was just a Minesweeper game. <laughs> I mean, maybe I found another one somewhere else. I don't know. Well, it's time to Minesweep, I guess. And if she's here, or if it is here... Oh, God. Uh, can we just leave, do you think? Or It's probably locked. Now, obviously, the big problem is we don't know where the killer is right now, which is pretty bad news. Hello? Like, hello? <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, that's not gonna help you at all. Ah! Ah! Run, Paul Prospero! Blow your nipples, Paul Prospero! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, Cliff, hey, guy, hide! Oh, God. Okay. Cliff, you have to hide too, dude. Dude! Ha-ha! Nailed it. Obviously, I don't know what to do now. Um. Okay, we have to solve the Minesweeper game. And then use that. <laughs> Cliff, we have to hide. Also, Cliff. <laughs> well, what am I going to tell him? Hide in this closet with me where we'll both get killed? Come on. Okay. That sound is awful. It sounds like this horrible, snuffly animal breathing. Oh, wait, that's me. You hide in the fr Oh, I didn't actually look in the fridge. Good idea, Roger Twy. Uh oh, Spaghettios. A big old picture window. Okay. Do you think we've. I mean, there's only two. There's only two hiding spots in the house, so, like, I'm not particularly happy with our ability to survive here. But we'll do our best. Alright, that is not a good sound at all. Oh, okay, Gary. Oh, his, oh, his tummy hurts. Oh, wrong way, Paul! Oh, Paul, you ran right into the thing. Okay. So we can solve the upstairs pump. And then we can... Megan! Oh. Pete. You look just like Megan. That's weird. 
Uh, hi, Pete. What's going on? I know that look on your face. You've been tying yourself in knots. Yes, that's right, Pete. I have been. Oh, that's true, Eregwen. Some kind of walking metaphor roaming its halls. You see me in the woods with my throat slit? I didn't see that. No! Ah! Cat, stop that. Maybe you've got something to do with this, Pete. Huh? Maybe, maybe you're... Oh, jeez. You gotta get out of there. Have you tried the front door? It's got a weird lock on it. Oh, thanks, Pete. Oh, Pete! He's helping us from beyond the grave! Oh, that's great! Oh, fabulous! Uh, no, I'm Pete. The locking mechanism doesn't have power! Oh! Well, that's fun. Uh, oh, but it has to go to the power box. And to activate the power box, I need to solve my ultimate nemesis! Minesweeper. Come on, everyone. Charge! Oh, actually, hang on. Sorry, before we charge, let's just let's just plunge this toilet real quick. I know how to do this. Ready? Click, click, click! Two. Ah! Cats! Oh my god, cats! Sorry, everyone. I think we're good. We're safe. We're safe. Okay. Oh, hang on. I should actually read this. Sorry, everyone. I think we're safe. Phew. Yeah. We're safe, everybody. Thumbs up. Yeah. Everything is boom. Whoo. Well, there's some cats in the house along with a killer, and, and one of them knocks something over. But it's just, it's the classic jump scare. The cat's like, rah, you know. What do you mean, Roger Twy? Numbers one and number five? Oh, I get it. Okay, so I can do this downstairs. I can flush the thing downstairs because I can figure out this puzzle. And this one has to be set to 12. I don't know what the one downstairs has to be set to. Go, walk. Uh, right, we have been in there. The blue one leads to this device, which I can figure out as well, but I won't yet. Okay. There's a 12, and there's a game. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> oh, a three. Oh, I fucked it up. <laughs> oh, one, okay. How about I try a quarter? Oh, no, I fucked it up. <laughs> oh, oh, Paul Prospero. Oh my god! Falls so bad at it! Okay. Two of the surrounding things are mine, so I have to go over here. Oh, okay, one of those is surrounding. Probably not that one. No, okay, here we go. We're getting somewhere. The problem is, by the time I solve this, it'll be nine, and the fucking person will be here. One of these two, and so not these. There we go. Okay, cool. That's useful. So yes, for sure. Then, one of these, which means it has to be one of... One of these, yes, for sure. One of these, yes, for sure. And so that's got to be one of the two. So I think these are safe. Oh, not necessarily. Oh, my God. Yes, actually, necessarily. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, why does this game have <laughs> <Forget> it? <laughs> so that's, those are ones. One of these is, is a mine. Oh my god. Okay. Oh! Oh. The worst part is once I solve this, I'm not sure if the thing downstairs I have to press the mines. Yeah, I, I'm sure I have to press the mines. Okay. One of these. One of these and two of those. Okay. So here's where it gets interesting, right? There's three here. One, two... Three. Is this definitely one? Me too, Captain Splooey. I'm gonna die up here, guys. 
Oh, I think I'm gonna get really good at Minesweeper, though. Okay, yes for sure. So, also... Oh, fuck, no, not necessarily. Yes for sure. Yes for sure. If it was these two... <laughs> basically, try. Okay, if it was these two, then it would have to be this one. And then it would be those two and these two. Okay, okay, good. And now I've got some more information. So, in terms of the three, one of these is not. One of these is not. If this one was not, then these would be correct, and that's impossible. So this has to be one, so this has to not be one. Awesome. Okay, got it. So, we're looking at uh, X, X, yes, yes. No, hang on, I actually fucked it up still. Yeah, 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 hang on, Spooey. You're right. Okay, one, two, right, it's gotta be this one. Here. Oh, fuck, oh no, okay. Hi, Cragged, uh, okay. Guys, I got it. It's gotta be this one, this one, and this one. Woo, here we go. Oh no, 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 hang on. I don't mean to, I didn't mean to, hang on, I didn't mean to pin this. Uh, unpin this message. <laughs> Sorry, Spooey. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Ah, run! I don't want to die. I just want to solve Minesweeper. Run, Polly. Oh, man. I sure hope there's another way to do this in the future. Hi, uh, Gary. Oh, my God. Run. Okay. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. No, no. Go to the machine. Okay. Here we go. I've got it. This one, this one, and this one. It, is it working? Does that mean it's working? Oh, for fuck's sake. Please don't be dead. Oh, hi, Megan. The power box isn't powered on. Frack. Do, do I, I have to solve, I have to solve it upstairs. Oh, frack. Okay. All right, Paul Prospero. You're a smart boy, Paul Prospero. You can do this, buddy. Run. Gong. I have to actually solve it. Got it. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> That's so annoying. Woo! Run! Okay, it's fine. I should have done that. I should have. That was that was foolish of me. Come on, Emily. You're uh, you're a genius. Oh, I just really don't want to run into the killer like right here, but I might. What is that? Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, Paul. Go, 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 go. If I can do this, then I can get out of the house. And that'll be something. Oh, it's working. Yes, on. Great. Out. Let's go. Up, up, up. Don't walk upstairs. Run upstairs. <laughs> oh, guys, you're still alive. That's gr What the f is this? <laughs> What the fuck is this? <laughs> positive, positive is the only way to make it work. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh. Oh. Um. I want the yellow one. So we're going to go positive to positive. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Ah, oh, it's so annoying. Oh, no. Oh, God. Um, oh, sweet Jesus. 
Aragorn, do you remember when I was really bad at all the puzzles? Wah! Wee! Uh, oh, it does! You're right! Crag it. Oh! F uh, killer! Run! Kitchen! Oh, God, guys! Me. <laughs> Here's the real question. Now that I've solved Minesweeper, it's in my mine palace. A mind palace. So, presumably, this won't change. I do really like puzzles. I'm just obviously concerned about the fact that I might, you know, die or whatever. Nice and slow. Oh. Oh, oh. It's Megan. She's dead. There's a lot of blood. Okay. Yeah, negative to negative or positive to positive. Okay. Oh! Upstairs, upstairs, upstairs. You know where you can survive. You know where you can survive, Paul Prospero. Oh, not here! Run, Paul Prospero! Or Emily, whatever. It doesn't matter. Run! Everyone's dead. Oh! A door! Palmily. Guys, this door is open. It unlocked something. The, the electronic lock! The power! I understand now. The power went out and the electronic lock disengages automatically. I should probably stop talking when there's a murderer about. But now, that room, there's something back there. This is going to be very helpful. I obviously don't trust myself to survive, but we're going to do our best. Can I close the door? What the good goddamn... Oh, this is to make sounds! Okay, cool. Cool, I guess. And that says to something. This is... I've tempered my doubts about the accumulator, but a lightning rod? Oh, they're making a uh, Frankenstein. Soon I will be just as the modern Prometheus. Cool. You know that's, like, not gonna work, right? A day with Parker. Coffee, paper, ideation, ideation, end of the watch. Rise again. Re-energized. This is amazing. Zazen, ruminating upon cones, mostly regarding being beaten with a stick. Ah, oh, classic. 12 to 1, accumulator cleaning and upkeep. 1 o'clock, what do I want to do after I clean and upkeep the accumulator? Center my internal locus of control and, control and banish external negative energy. That's going to take at least 10 minutes. 15, perfect. Automatic drawing. Nightcap. Oh my god. Ugh. Placing of bedstand journal for a later transcription during the watch. There is something coming. And this is very, very bad news. I'm definitely gonna die. I think I can turn this machine off. I'm just not sure how yet. Did I do it? What did I do, do you think? Oh, that sounds bad. Off. Oh, oh, God. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Rip. I can't open doors. Oh, I can't open doors. That's great. I can now turn on the power at least. Do you think I can outrun this thing? Oh. 
The thing is, I'm never gonna solve Minesweeper again, so I really hope I can. I wonder if that sound device... Does it mimic the thing in the basement, and does it open the cellar door? Or is it? does it call the killer, who is using a large pair of scissors? Nah, it ain't me, man. This ain't me. Oh, uh-oh. Oh. I like that there's a little, like, depiction of how scared Emily is. Ooh. Well, Roger Twy, the thing is, like, I played it a few times, and it was not necessarily working. I mean, the killer is like definitely just around the corner, which is a problem. <gasps> oh, why are you there? Run! Oh, Emily. Oh, that's disappointing. But it's okay. I figured out. I think as long as it doesn't put me back before the Minesweeper game. Oh. Hope oh, getting out of here wasn't too much of a hassle for you guys. What is this? Is this the meeting of the old DJ radio club? <laughs> at one point, we stopped at one of those roadside boiled peanut stands. Some hot nut water into his mouth. Oh, God, hot, hot nut water. I should tell a trusted adult right away. <laughs> Did a joke just go over my head? Oh, but I read that pamphlet. Oh my god. Okay, okay, cool. Okay, guys, we're learning about them, which is cool. I got a booth. I was crunching like crazy to turn out little paintings and zines. I'm also doing my homework. I offered to help set things up and make her life easier. Emily sends me to Kinko's to pick up a box of freshly printed auto bio zines it was fully packed with a variety of public safety and surprisingly christian pamphlets <sighs> oh dear oh no Then, Emily fends the man on the table, scribbles a little sign that says a dollar, and they start selling like hotcakes! <laughs> That's really funny. Radon might be right behind you! This is wild. And so, okay, so one of the pamphlets ended up in that room, which is kind of fun. You saved me from having other people see cartoons of me and unsuccessfully trying to convince the Krispy Kreme employees to let me have some of the burned up donuts. Okay. No one needs to see that. Thank you for fucking up so bad. They did not. Yeah, what do you mean, Cliff? <laughs> for the Perseid meteor shower. Who's Laura? And why don't I recognize her? And fucking Pete in the corner being all creepy. Aw. Emily's having a problem. A situation. <gasps> you doing okay? Anxiety is hard. But who is Laura? Who is this? I thought you were doing great. Why is that embarrassing? What's really weird is I'm not in any of these things. Do you think they're having meetings at the DJ radio club without me? I don't know. 
You're their friend. They already like you. Scandalo. Escandalo, Captain Splui. Es Captain Escandalui. Captain Splui, am I going to get out of the house alive? <laughs> no, you've been killed three times already, Paul. Thanks, Splui. You're right. Life is just about death. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you've been quietly struggling with demonic possession. Whoever that was is still you. Thank you very much, Splooey! I've been thinking about watching The Fellowship of the Ring again, Splooey. What do you think? I haven't seen any of them Lord of the Rings movies in a long time. I, I, was, I was thinking about watching the trilogy, of course. I just mentioned Fellowship. It just rolled off the tongue, you know. Uh, you're fine, you're safe, they missed you. Okay. Even if they'll never forgive you for not finding out the binoculars. Finding the binoculars. Oh, that's nice. Catchy, ain't it? Hey, T. Oh? You right there, Cliff? Okay, Cliff, you're a little piece of shit. Get your feet off my table, you little shit. Yeah, I am your mom. Also, who puts a f feet on a table? <laughs> I'm disappointed in you. Oh. 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 That's... Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. So she's somewhat obsessively kind of checking that things are off. Stove, burners and so on. And then we couldn't turn the burner off at the house. Cliff, you absolute piece of shit. And look at Pete just chilling in the corner. He's such a vibe. What's he do? He's not even saying anything. Is he dead? Has he been dead the whole time? I don't know. Where are we? What's happening? Doesn't matter. Cliff, sh just shut up, man. <laughs> anyway, the moon is just a tiny crescent. Barely any competition for the Perseids. Hot nut water guy got me thinking. That hot nut water would probably be pretty good. Oh. Oh, umami. Megan. Ow. Mmm. 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 It's true, Gary. And yet, Gary, people with anxiety might not be able to just accept uncertainty and weirdness, you know? Just go with the flow. Family fun center. Oh, boy. Ended up in a burned-down old ghost town. Ugh. Oh, God. What the hell? Gary, what happened? Guys, guess what? I'm changing the subject. How do I get out of here? How long do you think this scene is? If... <gasps> Ooh. Tie place. Let's just... Oh. Oh, Emily. Ugh. Let me do the rounds. Oof. What happens if my lungs are full of gas and it ignites? My lungs are like getting burned up from the inside, Gary. That's not going to happen to you. Okay, man? Just chill out. <laughs> Guys, could we like not, though? There isn't some magic murder monster coming to kill you. Yeah, well, you know, Pete hasn't said a fucking thing and he's just standing in the corner. Cliff. <gasps> Pete, help me out. Ugh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, he's so evil. Oh, no. Oh, Pete. <laughs> what if what if the house just exploded, though? Wow, Cliff, you're right. I'm so relaxed. Oh. Oh dear. Yikes. Oh, frack. Wait. Yes. It's saved. Oh my god. Yes. It's saved. It's saved. It's saved. 
Wait, maybe it even saved this. Damn it. Okay, it did not save that. Okay, well that's too bad, but that's okay. It saved my Minesweeper game. Which means I should, in theory, be able to get down there as of about 9 p.m. Now, the other questions are, what else are we doing out here? This says 43. Does that mean I have to get it to 43 down there? Yes, probably. So let's let's make a note, 43, and we'll try... Oh, well, we'll go upstairs and we'll fix the thing upstairs. And then we'll try to solve that puzzle, obviously, after we try to get out the door, if nothing else. Hmm. Very interesting. And then, yeah, there's that, like, sound puzzle that might open something up down below. One, two... Two. One, two, three, four, five. I, I, man, the logic of this does not really make sense to me. But that's okay. That's fine. I'll figure it out. Okay. Normal cylinders increase PSI output by one. Heavy duty cylinders increase them by five. Input is on the left, output is on the right. Right, and this said, the output has to be set to 12, is what it said. This was 8. Raising this by 2 changed, it lowered this to 6, and then it went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. No, so, shoot, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, okay. It's just 12 total. Okay. Minesweeper's done. We are also looking for... What else are we looking for here? Oh, interesting. Why are these linked, I wonder? So we don't know what the rest of the stuff is. Oh, the locker. Maybe we have to do something here. I wonder if we have to get the same combination of sounds upstairs. And that's the combo to my suitcase. Which I guess I'll just go check again. Why does that exist, I wonder? I mean... Like, if my suitcase has the same combination... Oh! It's empty! Well, that's interesting. Well, now that is interesting. I guess I can try 420. No, that's fine. I could try it. Now it says 35. Oh, 35 total. Yaman! Yeah, because we dropped it. Oh, no, that doesn't make sense. It's fine. It's, it says 35 now. Weird. What does this say? Someone's wearing my two pairs of pants, and they're not wearing my underwear! Careful, Saren. <laughs> the annual drain will be necessary using this button. Do I think I have to set it to 35 and then come back up here? Oh, man. Okay. Okay, it's almost 9 o'clock, which means this door is about to open. And we're going to try to solve the... The minesweeper we're going to turn on, and then we're going to try to solve the other puzzle... Whoops, wrong button. Oh, hey guys. Ugh. Just chopping vegetables, eh? Cliff! You don't even know what I'm talking about yet. I don't think I can control everything. Thanks, Cliff. Gary pulled me aside this morning and told me you're worried about me. What? Wait, what? I'm worried about you, too. I've missed you, Emily. What's going on? Uh... Yeah, me too, Splooey. For sure. <laughs> Whatever. Do you know anything about synthesizers? Synthesizers?
Do you know anything about a book with a monster called the Watcher? Okay, cool. Got it. So, we're gonna talk to Emily about synthesizers, and we're gonna go upstairs and ask about books. What's up? Oh, no, hang on. Uh, jerk flirting. Uh, I wanna scream, but I can't. I wanna cry, but... Oh, God, it's nothing. Do you know anything about synthesizers? Okay, okay. If the pad supports playing multiple samples in a sequence, there will be columns of buttons from left to right that represent the order they get played in. You choose what samples by pressing the buttons from top to bottom. Ah, okay, so high, low on the three sounds. Okay, cool. That's really good, actually. Okay, cool. So that, that tells me that we're trying to get a specific sound. Probably the one out of the locker, but I should... Man, memorizing that's going to be rough. But it's okay, we'll do our best. Francine! Fuck. Fran Francine, hi! Glades of Grace. They're confused and they're scared and it's small and sad and the room smells like rubbing alcohol and that's it and it's done. Yikes, Francine. <laughs> oh, me too. Do you know anything about a book, a uh, monster called The Watcher? I do, but it's from Arkham Horror, the card game. That's not very useful. In a glass darkly! Yes. Okay, cool. I know exactly where that is. And I have... Page 110. Okay, okay, okay. Guys, we're learning. This is really good. I like to learn. I enjoy learning. Oh! One... Skip, 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 skip. Can I skip more? 110, 110, 110. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, I'm sure there's a way to do this better. Uh, come on! Ball, Prospero, you're almost there, buddy! Oh, oh, it says, oh my gosh, this is going to be really hard to do. I am going to have a lot of trouble with this. I'm going to, okay, I'm going to figure this out in advance, I think, if I can. So it's one, three, three, two, turning the top one. Every time you make a complete rotation, it turns the next one. And I think you can turn them individually as well. So if that's true, why can't I just start? Why can't I just start from the... Oh, God, Francine, you scared me. <laughs> Thank you, Aragwen. Aragwen, I know I've frustrated you in the past with my inability to solve puzzles under pressure. Because Paul Prospero famously is not Puzzle Prospero. As we are all aware. I'm just doing my best here, guys. Hi, Cliff. Oh, uh, thanks, Aragwen. That's... That's fair, because it would be frustrating otherwise. I, I get that. Oh, oh, here, I'll just um, read this again. Uh, Dalton Rhodes. Clara Jones. I see you all from that sweet window. That's right, Eric Wynn. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, everybody. No, frack. Down the stairs. Here we go, here we go. So first of all, we start with the mine sweeping. Then we'll just have a quick look. Hey, me too! Rigardin, that's hilarious! Yes. Awesome. Uh, I was going to do something else down here. Oh, one, three, three, two. <laughs> ba, ba, ba. Sure, it's uh, high, low, medium. Got it, got it, got it. Round corner. Okay. I don't actually know how this works, but we're going to try to figure it out. Oh, it's literally... Okay. Okay. So we have to get the bottom one up to two. There we go. Now...
Okay. Now we get... I don't want to flip them all. I don't think it'll flip them all. Does it? Okay. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, guys. Oh. An invoice for the delivery of two industrial-grade Galneron generators attached as a handwritten note. Oh, I thought your accumulator was an acoustic device. Why are we... Oh, because we're going to raise the dead or whatever. It's... Oh. Riggerton, you don't understand. I'm dying. <laughs> you don't understand, Riggerton. Radon! The silent killer. Silent no longer. <laughs> so, this is famously... And then it's going to say, behind you or whatever. No, it doesn't say that. Weirdly. But yeah. All right, what the hell is this schematic? 278. Okay. Now I'll be able to get down here before the power goes out. Yes. Yes. Paul Prospero, you and Emily make such a good team. Uh-oh. Why, why do my feet make such weird clacking noises? Okay, next. Next, is it, is it 278, 278, who cares? Is it, uh, no, I have to just do this, right? Okay. Okay, I'm trying to get, I'd like to get the yellow created, and then maybe I'll have to get, oh, I probably have to get them both done, don't I? Uh, okay. Okay, then, well, that's not going to help, is it? Because then there's nothing I can do there. Okay, good. Well, that just goes loops back around on itself. Okay. No, that doesn't help. Uh-oh. Oh, it's already a huge problem, team. Oh, no. I do appreciate what they've done, though. Well, that doesn't help at all. That doesn't help at all. Okay. I know, cats. I know. Life's really stressful. I get it. Oh, the fact that I can see the killer coming is so bad. Okay, Paul Prospero, you have to do this. Okay, well, that... No, no hang on. That was... Is that... Why, why is that not working? Oh, frack. I saw the killer. Oh, boy. So the big issue is that I can't manipulate them vertically. It's just horizontally. It should be doable. Ooh. The sound system upstairs. That's the other part of this. But now I know the code. So I can just get into the basement willy-nilly, which is great. Turn the power on right away. Have, like, an extra two hours or whatever. Guys. Okay. I'll start with the negatives, I guess. Well, that's positive. Well, I that's technically working, isn't it? And then the positive goes no. So the negative, I think, looks like it's okay. And the positive goes this way. This is not very useful. Um, 
Oh, this is very confusing, isn't it? Um, this is still good, I think. Oh, shit! Upstairs, upstairs. Upstairs. Here we go. I just don't know what this is supposed to be. I'm dead now for sure. Yeah, it, so Cragged, the plan is. Oh, I'm dead. That's fine. So Cragged, the plan is to get both the plus and the minus on the left hand. Sorry, I'm, I'm doing it for myself. Oh. I thought it was. Hint, Pete! Um, yeah, Captain Blue. I thought it was, but I have to, you're right, I have to change what the sounds are, but I'm not sure if I could. It wasn't clear to me if I was able to. Anyway, yes, Cragget. The plan was to connect the ones on the left first, because that will open, that will, that will power the front door lock. Then the ones on the right, later, will power the blue thing upstairs, which is some sort of spotlight, probably opens a door or something. Technically, you're not supposed to get murdered either. Thanks, Pete. You know, weirdo. The note in the main bedroom made it sound like the combination is down in the cellar somewhere in some kind of cage. I did. Yes, well, I did that, Pete. I did that, Pete. Pete. God, he thinks he's so cool. Let's see if my clothes are back. Clothes! <gasps> It's empty. Bong, bong. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Okay. At least we can do this now. So every time now I can just like make this happen at least, which is good. And the power's on down here. So that's no bad thing. It was here, here, and here. And we turn that on. Right. I could try to solve the other thing too, potentially. I wonder. I can't get in. Oh, right, okay. No, I'm not gonna fin figure that out yet. Mm, but I can't get in upstairs yet. But first, let's see if we can solve this situation. Oh, sorry, bud. Sorry there, bud. Uh, okay. Is that going to be useful? No. That's useful. Yes. Then, that one. Awesome. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Okay. Then, I can't touch any of these, basically, so that's fine. That doesn't help, I don't think. That won't help either. That has to be done then. Okay, fine, so we'll do this. And it goes this way. Okay, cool, and then... Okay, great. Awesome. Bam. 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 Great. We're out of the house! Hooray! Oh, what the f... Ah! Oh. Oh. Well, 
Okay. Um, I'm hoping Pete might be able to give me a little... Oh, it's the old, it's the creepy old man from scene 24. Are you old Pete? Are you the killer? You're that old guy I met at the gas station. My name is Parker Nest. Oh, that's the guy who, who owns that house. Do you feel strange spending so much time in my home? Your home? Is not Rome still Rome? Are these really the last days of the Roman Empire? Damn it! Stop proving TikTok's point, man! Ah, okay, fine. When it attacks you, do you feel it? Do you feel anything when you die? Homunculus? What, is that what that is? No, I blame your weird art partner, Nest. And you will know why it appears so cruel. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. An accumulator, supposed to aid in cellular reassembly. I built it believing it would extend my days. Okay, this is cool, this is fine. Oh, hello, hi! Welcome to Paul Prospero's Paranormal Probe, where we find the truth before the truth uh, murders us because of our mental anguish, I think? It it made the house, it made you, it made the thing. It made a liar out of me, okay. The only comfort that brings me regard, the only comfort that brings me regarding the predicament I see, it won't last forever. Uh-oh, ah! To the attic! The accumulator is the maker of the world in which we live. Okay. There better not be a jump scare here, buddy. Whoa. I gotta get up there! Oh, thanks, Lo! It's cozy. Um, apparently, Aragorn installed it for me as, like, a computer program or something. It's nice. Okay, guys. We did it. Kind of. It's a mod. So, low, I'll give you the, the, the down low <laughs> on what's going on here very quickly. It, Nexus mods! Aragorn, I hope you paid them for their work. Uh, very briefly, uh, Emily here is trying to get out of the house alive. Um, there's a monster in there, but at least we seem to be still reliving the situation every time. Over and over, which is good. Oh, that's right, Aragorn. Yeah, it wasn't really working for me, I don't think. Oh, shoot. Wrong thing. There we go. Okay. It's a good question. Just wanted to see if there's anything else in here that I might have missed. I don't think so, though. I don't think so. Right, okay, so that's that. Okay, cool. Good. So, we've got this. Um, I guess I could try to solve the pump upstairs, if you know what I mean. And then... Okay, oh, no, no, now I don't want to open the... I want to open the other door, is what I want to do. So, I don't want to open the front door now. I want to open the other door. So instead... Uh, okay, so we're going to go negative to negative, positive to positive. Positive to positive. It looks like it would work, I think. And then negative... Ooh, that's not as useful, is it? Uh... Er. Oh no, hang on, this works. Pump up the jam, pump it up. Remember, you can't read and understand anything in parentheses. <laughs> Weird thing to write, Aragorn, but okay. Whatever you say. Uh, now we go this way, and then, not that one, this one, yes, and then this one? No, that's not gonna work. Oh, Prosper, you fool! Oh, no, this isn't going to work either, is it? Now I've connected them all incorrectly. P 
positive to positive, negative to nothing. Negative to negative, and then this positive is not helpful again. Um, it's tough because what I want to be able to do is see. It's like chess. I can't see in advance. I don't have the, the ability to think quickly, but into the future, if that makes sense. The negatives seem to be connected. The positives do not. Let's see if I can do this. That's the same thing. Nope, wrong thing. Oh, no, no, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, right, right, right. Okay, hang on. No, no, this isn't going to work. Uh, negatives. Positives. It's not going to work, is it? Hmm. I could try this instead. Now the positives... I think so too, Cragged. So, I need to arrange this. This this makes sense, I think. So now the negatives have to go up. Ugh, but now I'm screwed here. I'm stuck. Because the positives just go straight to the top. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. I could try to solve the sound thing now. Wrong thing. Wrong oh, no, no. Wrong. Damn it. Okay, I've, I've gone back and forth too many times now. Ah. Reading aloud, we're trying to activate the right-hand side, so I'm trying to get negative to negative and positive to positive, like it says over here. That's the plan. But now I've gone back and forth too many times, and now I'm all confuzzled. This could work, potentially, if it goes down here. I just need to connect... That's probably not going to be useful, though. No. So the negatives... Negatives... Well, that's just not going to help at all, is it? Um... Darn. Now I can't even get out of the house. I mean, that doesn't really help anyway, does it? Very nice. I agree, reading. So that's positive to positive kind of works. It's not great, though, so I can't touch any of these. I can't. So this can't be touched, so it has to go this way. Which means these only have two options. Which basically amount... They are the same. Okay, cool. That's good, at least. So then it has to go here. Which means this negative. I have access to these two. That doesn't help at all, so it goes this way. Okay. Now, here, I have access to these two. Okay. Now. That's not going to help. Oh god, something I did- okay. I- oh my god, okay. It just- it, it took- it took far too long. I better not- I better not get stabbed up here. Well, I'm gonna be really mad if there's stabbage. Oh, I didn't even solve the- damn it. The pump! The, the power! The pump! I have to just do this really quick. I guess that's literally just there to teach you how they work, though. Okay, so this is on, which means, aha, now I should be able to get in here, maybe? No. Check machine. What the? Oh, I have to make those active now. Oh, I hate this kind of puzzle. And there's a god Oh, monster! Here we go. The 
absolute worst reading aloud. Run, dude! Uh, what else can I do here? That's kind of it, isn't it? Oh, man, the worst. So I'll just check my... Well, this I all did. Oops. Front door lock. Eh. <laughs> Cool, cool. And I know the locker is to do with the thing upstairs. This is exciting, but I think I'm gonna die. Now, is this creature coming back down? Where is it? Oh, run! Run, dude! Oh, Cliff, Megan, don't just... Oh, guys, don't just stand there. Oh, oh, oh! Killer Eddios. Kill Eddios. Okay. What do we got left? The lights on off puzzle and the sound. And then there's the pump in the basement. Excuse me, I'm trying to talk to the chat. Mm. It's also all done for the night anyway. Stream's almost over, team. My goodness gracious. Oh, for sure, Saren. I can't wait either. That'll be fun. Do you think it's still there? I don't have time to wait around for this, dude. Oh, I think it's like... I think he's right there. He's right there. Go, 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 go. Paul Prospero's Paranormal Probe. Running for murderers in my own mind. Paul Prospero's Paranormal Probe. I had friends once then, now they're dead. Okay, uh, into the back, into, into the door. Whee! What's the 12 for? I still don't know. Good. Oh, he got me. Man, how am I supposed to play music on my synthesizer when you're trying to kill me? Ugh. Oh, more story. I don't have time for this. So at that point, I look at Gary and says, that makes two of us. Oh, Cliff. He does make me want to jump off a cliff. We don't even have time for this. I gotta, I gotta get out of here. Why are they driving together? Yep. Interesting. Glad you had the occasion to grace us with your presence again. Blech. Well, my grandma died very conveniently. Wow, Cliff. Pete's dead, man. Uh, excellent point, Lo. Excellent point. So relax. We'll drink out of dirty glasses and watch from some falling space garbage, and it'll be great. Where are we going? We're going to the site where I've been working. Ugh. I told the others a later start time. Wanted to make sure I didn't have to pick up my last check alone. Your last check? Wait. Cliff... What were you doing out there, Cliff? Cliff? Don't be mysterious, you weirdo. Okay. Weird. You know what day it is, Emily? Payday? August 13th? Friday, August. <laughs> oh, Cliff! You afraid to go back there? You either work a decade, tear your body up, or you quit before you're in too deep. Oh, yeah. Cliff here wearing a blazer. I'm sure he's the kind of guy who does a bunch of manual labor. Okay? I got I got bigger guns than this Cliff guy. I'm gonna get you, buddy. Martin, kind of older guy. Wife, two kids. He's spotting another guy. Brian, as he's bringing in a dump truck full of gravel. Trunk hits a, truck hits a bundle of rebar. Scaffold collapse. Martin falls into the pit. Truck tips behind him. Dumps all the gravel on top of him. That is a freak accident, Cliff, and you know that. Uh, 
Ugh. So this is it. They bring in his family, explain the situation. This is insane, Cliff! This isn't a real situation. What are you talking about? Is what happened in signs? It happened to somebody I know, Emily! Either I live hard, die young like Martin, or become a lumpy old asshole like my dad. Whoa, eyes on the road, man! Oh, Cliff. Sorry, Cliff. I've seen you die so many times. This is so cool. I'm really enjoying this. How long have we been driving for? Oh, that's the attic! It's the attic behind you! It's Lightbulb Head Man! Okay. Probers, we have to call an end to the stream, but I am really excited by the fact that we seem to have made some nice progress, which is good. I, of course, have to end the stream because I can't stream all night. Because, despite my friends needing me, I know, Splooey! The problem is, though, Splooey, I have other... The, my social media manager is going to cut the stream on me whether I like it or not, because he has work tomorrow. Ugh. And I'm telling him, like, hey, man, like, my work's important, too, you know? Like, my work being a paranormal investigator. And he's like, you're not real, Paul. You only exist in the mind of... Never mind. Oh, I was going to shave this, and now it just looks like I have a little Hitler mustache. Whoops. Well, anyway, uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll just call it there for tonight. Thank you so much for joining me on Paul Prospero's Paranormal Probe. Uh, and, and the same to you, Craggood. Enjoy your day in the future. I like that. Uh, thank you all so much for joining me. I'm really, really, really excited to be back soon. Check the Discord for all upcoming streams. Natch. That's naturally, but like cool version. Uh, and, you know, always remember if you need someone to host a radio program, DJ Polly D is your guy. The D stands for danger. I'll see you next time on Paul Prospero's Paranormal Probe.